petition request from Jared Griffoni, representing the Libertarian Party of Collier County, requesting that the Board of County Commissioners rescind Ordinance 2013-70, which established the La Peninsula Seawall Municipal Service Benefit Unit, and rescind Resolution 2013-292, which established a special assessment for funding the seawall improvements. Both ordinances were adopted by the Board of County Commissioners on December 10th, 2013. Mr. Garfoni. Good morning, Commissioners. Thank you for the opportunity to speak to you regarding this uh, creation of the MSBU for La Peninsula, a private gated community for the purpose of repairing and replacing their seawall, their existing seawall for the benefit of the property owners in that development. I know I only have 10 minutes today, so I'm going to try and make all this brief. There's a lot of issues here, so excuse me if I am concise. Uh, first and foremost, though, we need to touch on the Constitution. The Florida Constitution is definitive. Of, it's, it's, it's the foundation for our source of government. It's the foundation for our Florida statutes and our, even our county ordinances. Article 7, Section 10 deals with finance and taxation. And in Section 10, it specifically states that neither the state nor the county or other entities can lend or use or give its taxing power for the credit to aid any private entity. Now, again, it cannot use the taxing power to aid any private entity. Now, we know that there are some exceptions to that uh, particular po portion of the Constitution. They deal with public trust funds, obligations backed by the United States, and so forth. Seawall repair and replacement is nowhere to be found. But is the county really using its taxing power here? Because we're talking about MSBUs. Well, MSBUs are special assessments that are paid back from the property owners within the boundaries of the created MSBU. Now, in AGO uh, 8590, Marion County faced a similar issue. They're a non-chartered county, just like Collier County is. And uh, in that AGO, it was written that special assessments are distinguishable from taxes, but they are levied under the taxing power. So again, we do need to fall back to that constitutional provision. We are talking about the taxing power here. Now, if, we're all, if we are all the constitutionalists that we say we are, that really should be the end all and be all of this discussion. But really, there's a lot more to go over. And some people say that the Constitution is a living document, Florida Constitution or the federal Constitution. Some people say that it's eroded over time. But the fact is, we all are here to stand up for the principles of the Constitution. Now, the Florida statutes are the same. Statute 125, or Section 125, that was the authority under which the MSBU ordinance was created. Now, in 12501Q, that's the relevant portion. It states that MSBUs can be created, they can be utilized, but only for certain items, for things like fire protection, law enforcement, streets, sidewalks, uh, garbage and trash collection. Again, seawall repair and replacement is nowhere to be found in that statute. Uh, there's no seawall repair or replacement there, and the statute's very specific. It deals with public, public utilities, in a sense, public, public things that are, are unrelated to private seawall construction. Now, 125 is the authority listed in the ordinance itself, and I've received an email from the county attorney as well, and, and uh, Commissioner Hiller, we've discussed it as well, uh, regarding Florida Statute 170. Now, 170, uh, the email that uh, I received from the county attorney noted it wasn't a legal brief, and I think for good reason, because 170 doesn't apply to counties at all. 170 applies to municipalities. Title 12 is for municipalities. Title 11 is for counties. So 170 doesn't apply here at all. Now, and it certainly doesn't apply for Isles of Capri, because Isles of Capri is an unincorporated area of Collier County. It's not a municipality. Collier County isn't a municipality. Municipalities are chartered cities in the state of Florida. So we can see whether it's under the Constitution or the Florida statutes, whether it's 125 or 170, the authority just doesn't exist. Well, what about the county ordinances? We can look at those, too. 122, for, uh, 2043 of Collier County ordinances deals with MSBUs. Well, in that ordinance, it says that MSBUs can be created to provide for water, sewer, streets, and other essential facilities. Now, this p piggybacks on 125. We're dealing with the same thing. Water, sewer, streets, and other essential facilities. Essential facilities are most frequently defined as natural monopolies, things like utilities, uh, transportation facilities, things of that nature. Again, not seawalls. Essential facil facilities are public facilities, not private facilities. So we don't have the authority under the Constitution, the Florida statutes, or the county ordinances anywhere for repair and replacement of seawalls. Now, there's a variety of AGOs out there, and I'm not going to go into all of them today, but uh, Flagler County, City of Belle Isle, they've done these things as well. They've tried to do these things as well, and they've all been rejected on the grounds that there's no public purpose. 
Now, we know that when county funds are expended, it has to be done for a public purpose. And at the December meeting, uh, Attorney Klatskow mentioned that at the end of the day, public money must be spent for a public purpose. So what's the public purpose? Well, AGO 9037 is actually even a little stricter. It's not just a public purpose, it's a paramount public purpose. Now, like I mentioned, Flagler County had a similar issue. City of Belle Isle tried to, uh, tried to create an MSTU, slightly different, but same thing, it's just how they're taxed. But an MSTU to cover the costs associated with private common areas. That was rejected because there wasn't a public purpose. It was, again, the benefit of a private agency. They fell back on the Constitution, Article 7, Section 10. Same thing that we're talking about here today. Escambia County, now they're unrelated to Collier County, but they are a non-chartered county in Florida. They have a very clear and concise policy on MSBUs. Their, their MSBU book states, quote, the funds raised are public funds and must be collected, accounted for, and spent in accordance with applicable laws regarding public funds. Only public property, only public property can be maintained and improved by an MSBU. Access must be open to all members of the public equally. In addition, adequate easement, easements or property dedications must be provided. So again, what does Escambia County know that for some reason it seems like we don't know here in Collier County so far? Code enforcement as well. We've seen this, uh, well, what happened to code enforcement? Have they been you know, going to sleep for five or 10 years? No, actually not. Code enforcement has been called out. They have looked at the La Peninsula Seawall back in 2009. They found that there were minor cracks of no concern, normal wear and tear, and the seawall wasn't in any failure. Well, 2009, that was four or five years ago now. Well, what about more recently? 2013, same thing. They went out to La Peninsula to inspect the seawall. August of 2013, just a couple months before this issue was even brought before the board. Well, uh, County Engineer Jack McKenna, he made a determination that it's not a health and safety situation, that the seawall needs some minor repairs, that there's no violation at this time, and that a permit wasn't even required to make these repairs because they're so minor. So what exactly is going on here? Well, we know in August of 2012, La Peninsula voted down four to three, spending $4,000 for an engineer's report for DEP, $18,000 for a building permit that would have been good for five years. We know that they had approximately $200,000 in seawall reserves at that time. We know that there was an ongoing legal dispute between La Peninsula and the former owners of the seawall over whether or not the seawall was turned over in proper condition. That lawsuit happened to be voluntarily dismissed in 2013. And I don't want to speculate, but again, do we really have all the facts? Now, the issue here, too, is precedent. Precedent's a big one. Precedent that's going to be set here is very dangerous. We have over 500 homeowners associations in Collier County. And if they all came looking for the same bailout, because that's what this is, it's a bailout for mismanagement, you're looking at $2, uh, excuse me, $2 billion added to county debt. This money does get added to county debt, even though it's paid back by the MSBU. Does, does Collier County really want to get into that situation? Again, never happened before in the state of Florida. It's never happened before in Collier County. Now, we don't even know how it's going to be financed. It's like Nancy Pelosi came down to the Collier County board and said, well, you got to pass this ordinance to find out what's in it. We don't know what's in it. Uh, Commissioner Hillary, even at the December meeting, you asked, you know, how is this going to be financed? Who is who's incurring this debt? And the answer from Attorney Klatskow was, we don't have financing plans in place yet. And I cannot answer that question. Well, that doesn't really fill me with a lot of confidence, to be honest. And I think, really, it's just a lack of having the information in front of us. Um, the ordinance itself, again, it says that, hey, if, the, uh, if there are conflicting ordinances in existence, if there's conflicting laws, the more strict law shall apply. So again, we see this, this, if you look at the whole picture, there's a lot of issues here. Now, I hope I've been able to express a lot of these issues in a clear and concise manner in the short amount of time that we had here. And I believe that the commission here is a good one, and I believe that you, you've all been proceeding in a manner uh, that you believe to be best, not only for the Board of County Commissioners, but for La Peninsula, as well as Collier County residents. And I think that this new information really deserves more than 10 minutes of a, you know, a rushed uh, conversation here to really uh, be de delved into and to look at properly, uh, just so it has the proper justice here. Now, we can argue back and forth about the condition of the seawall, whether or not this board owner said this or that owner said, uh, a board owner said that, but it's secondary to the legal and constitutional authority that simply doesn't exist. Now, in summary, the county ordinances don't support this, code enforcement doesn't support this, the AGOs don't support this, Florida statutes don't support it, and ultimately, and most importantly, the Florida Constitution doesn't support this either. Now, we have a variety of unanswered questions here. 
and it's incumbent upon this board to exercise the pr proper due diligence on this MSBU going forward. We certainly don't want to get into another situation where there's another lawsuit that, that is unnecessary, that doesn't need to happen. We need to review all these facts before we go forward and make sure that this is on the proper, proper legal and constitutional authority. Now, we all are here because we believe in, in fiscal conservatism. We believe in the proper role of government. And I think this board wishes to continue to follow those principles, to abide by those principles. And, and frankly, those principles unite virtually all of us here in this room today. Uh, I believe that the only appropriate action that can be had today is that this board moves to rescind the ordinance and resolution and uh, it's brought back up at the next meeting. Uh, I think that uh, this needs to be done. There's so many issues here and it's, it was very difficult to get them all into the uh, 10 minute time span here without, uh, you know, without pr properly explaining them all. But as you can see, uh, there's a lot to discuss here and I think uh, it's incumbent that we do look at this again. Thank you. We actually you. have time left. <laughs> <laughs>